Wow, this is a baking hot day. It's late morning, early afternoon, and it's time for something to eat. And I think I'll have a nice cup of coffee and a cheese omelette. That'll keep me going for the rest of the day. Welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. And on this one, I have the Jet Boil Skillet Pan. It's a pan that can be used with any stove, really, if you have a good regulator. But I am using mine with the Minimo. I can run it on a decent sized gas bottle, but I bought a small one also just to give you a size comparison. And last of all, the actual skillet pan did come with this velvet bag and drawstring. Great size for camping, this one. Right then, it's a beautiful day, really, really hot. And last week, we had three days of bitterly cold weather, one extreme to the other here in the UK. You can't win, you can't win. I buggered up a lot of pans in my time by putting bacon in the pan to make a bacon omelette. Um, and I don't want to take the risk with this new pan I have. There is a way you can do your eggs and your bacon in any kind of um, pan, including the army rectangular mess tin, without it sticking. That is gonna be a separate video, but for now I really don't wanna put bacon and things in the new pan, it's gonna ruin it. This is Coleman's 440 mil of gas. This is my Minimo, and inside is the regulator I'm gonna use. Um, for the actual pan very different to the jet boil flash stove but in the comments somebody asked about the size of the pot it didn't look a lot different to the jet boil with the flash it's designed about the same uh, diameter as your hundred mil but as you can see there is ample space here and somebody else wanted to know could they take the stove out of the Minimo and replace it with 440 mil? The 440 mil does go into the Minimo. I prefer to carry the 100 mils just for convenience. There's the stove, they go together. So it doesn't go in vertically. I tip it to its side and put it in. And of course, there's a protective orange bag. Gonna make a quick coffee first using this stove. There's one bit on, on the lid. It's the stabilizer for the gas. Water into here and get this fired up. Two and a half minutes is all it's gonna to take to bring the water to the boil. Um, then I can stand my coffee, switch over the stove to the 440 mil. The skillet is very different to version one of their skillet in the jet boil range. That didn't work. And we'll talk about why it didn't a little later. So this is the improved 2.0 and boy, is it improved. So what I did there was to put this onto the stove, then light it and jet boil say not to do that, but to introduce this onto the stove once it's lit, which is harder uh, to do than you think because I have to locate onto these lugs here, by which time it's getting hot quick. Ow. I think that's it. Can't believe that, look, bubbles already. So Jet Boil is a range of cook sets where you either love them or you loathe them. And I'm quite surprised how many people actually watch my videos on jet boil to tell me they don't like them. Simplest thing, don't bloody watch them. It makes absolutely no sense, does it, to watch something you don't like just so you can bitch about it at the end. That's boiled already. Wow, that's quick. Oh, I wasn't even on full power. So I'm very much in the camp of live and let live. I am fully aware that not everyone is going to like 
the same stove not everyone's gonna like the same tent or sleeping bag and I think I would be a fool if I believed everyone should have the same thing if we all had the same thing there would be no choice and that my friends it's called dictatorship and we don't live in that kind of society we have freedom a lot of freedom freedom to pick our own gear freedom to have independent thought and choices right put the lid back onto my coffee and see if I can disconnect all the assembly here hopefully it's cool that's not bad that is cooled down touch worthy pretty quick almost real time you're seeing it but a lot of people did ask if I can see what it's like on the Coleman's that can be disabled the one thing I haven't tried on the larger um, 440s is the stabilizing triangle for the gas I couldn't get that stabilizing triangle to fit onto the Coleman's maybe there is a way I just didn't want to force it and break it so we'll move straight on to the pan itself here it's by jet boil this is well used it has a turn here and if I squeeze the handles in a little a little pop out handle the turner does come with this pan and I haven't yet removed the sticker but I've been using it like that anyway I'll have to steam it off I think the original price was about 60 quid I've seen them for £49.21 its measurements are 8 inches by 8.5 oh I've been bitten again and I'm assuming the extra half inch comes from this piece here where we collapse the handle perhaps 1.9 inches and it says on the website that this weighs in at 10.6 ounces uh, 408 grams that seemed quite heavy to me so I put mine on the scales on its own with the turner and the little stuff sack it came with and these are the measurements and weight that I got pan only I had 283 grams once I added in the turner brought it up to 305 grams and then with the little stuff sack it came with that brought it up to 333 333 grams just for one or two nights 333 grams does not break the bank I'm gonna finish my coffee and we'll put this assembly together and make my lunch same regulator pop on this this much larger can remember I haven't got the stabilizer but it's a wider base anyway I'm in the off position and I'll need to introduce this part here there you go pull these feet to the in position and I'm gonna get that pan on I'm gonna be quick with this omelette because it's gonna cook in less than two minutes now I pre-spray my pan before I pack it but if you want to put a little extra olive oil in can't hurt can it perhaps I would like to get the pan hot first a lot more turns on the regulator to fire this up When it starts smoking, I'm gonna add the egg. Bought some grated cheese and some spice. And 
sit this back onto the heat. Just something to give it a little kick. Use a turner it comes with just to see how we're getting on underneath. Just need to brown the underside and turn it up just to finish off the underside. There's my omelette. So it's a ceramic, this actual pan, which is what is going to make it non-stick. I haven't bought a plate, I don't bring plates. I eat out of whatever unit I'm cooking with which is why I've got a plastic spork just so I don't scratch the pan no need for a plate this is to all intents and purposes my plate mmm mm. it's just awesome absolutely awesome last time I was out camping, I didn't bring cameras, uh, I bought mushrooms and tomatoes, uh, I didn't do bacon again, but um, mushrooms and tomatoes kind of spoil the taste a little for me, so cheese, my eggs, a little something to pep it up with the chilli flakes and um, mustard seed. This is going to be enough to keep me going until tonight, easily. Without the cameras rolling, obviously about maybe three minutes to make this. There is going to be an episode coming up where I, I said before I will show you how to do bacon and your meats, even in a pan you know sticks like hell and if that is going to be the kind of tip that would interest you I'll show you that uh, in a few weeks time I found a tub that my vitamins came in which just happens to house three large eggs or four small that way I'm not bringing the eggs in their shells uh, I don't know why anyone would want to bring the shell with them into camp unless you're hell bent on having boiled eggs, in which case you do them at home and bring them. Mm. Okay, I'll show you the clean up process. Get rid of them bits, let nature have them. Microfiber towel, it's the same one. I used to clean my coffee pot. No water. Don't introduce water to a non-stick pan, ever. This is all you need. And that's done. That is the amount of cleaning mine has. And like I said before, now is the time I introduce just a little bit of olive oil. rub it in. If I oil it now it will help protect the pan, give it a bit of longevity and it does no harm at all. That's the underside how it looks, there's no scorching. Because I was filming um, the centre of the omelette was cooking quicker than the outside which was always a problem with the Mark 1 skillet which had a thermal heat exchange on the bottom and it never worked out because the metal was too thin what they have done with this pan is made the metal here in the middle a lot thicker and thinner on the edges around here a rosebud stove would dissipate the heat perfectly all the way around the jet boil comes to a peak and as you can see it concentrates the heat in one place hence it being thicker metal in the middle 
At one time Jack Boyle was synonymous with only doing fast water boiling systems but I did a video on the Minimo and I forget what I cooked in it but you know I could cook a stir fry or um, something like that in it, a curry and rice, pastas you can do a lot more with jet boil these days because there are basically three styles of cooking uh, you can have your boil in the bag cooking open pot cooking um, and dehydrated meals three very different ways of cooking and now with all three pieces of the jet boil that I have the flash, the minimo and the skillet I can accommodate all of them different methods. There's also application to use the jet boil flash to do boil in the bag which I've been doing for a long long time you'll have seen me do it on most of my camps where I can just pop it into the tall cylinder of the flash add water to the fill level and just leave it boil in the bag six seven minutes and I can have a pre-cooked meal reheated. Jet boil is not really compatible with open flame so you could take off the neoprene sleeve and you could be vigilant of not burning the silicone handles but that's the only things you'd have to look out for if you want to use the jet boil range on open fire. I've done it. That, um, taking the neoprene sleeve off my flash and put that on the fire it chars the bottom so when you come to reattach it to the regulator it smokes so use brake and clutch fluid to clean your pan and it will remove all the residue otherwise you're just burning carbon I have a jet boil range I really like and it includes the pot you're cooking with the stove you're cooking with, um, the fuel you're cooking with, all in one place. And if you was to piece out that, even with an MRS or something like that, the weight is going to be quite comparable. So that's time up, and I'm going to enjoy my hammock for the next hour or so in the shade. Try get out this heat. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you out there. Happy trails.